Ryan, and this is Soil's Deathmobile. Come on aboard. Yeah, this is where the guy that, uh, that we all rely on to get us from one place to the other alive. This is his little office. This is where we trust that uh, we will wake up eventually the next day in one piece, hopefully. Got a guy out with us right now named uh, Scott. He's the one that we're putting our lives in his hands here for this run. It's a little shuttle, as you'll see. It's not like your full-blown tour bus that, that we're all used to. And I wish I had this thing 15 years ago because I'd have a, you know the kids' college be paid for and all that fun stuff by now. But uh, got you know the whiteboard up here. We got our little junk shelf where all of our you know, the goodies go. It was actually just what you would expect from a shuttle bus, like a run around the airport type shuttle bus, or running the uh, senior citizens to the grocery store type shuttle. And it was lived on. The band had it for several years before I joined back with them after my time with Drowning Pool, and it was nasty. Kidnapped it, took it over to Iowa, and a bunch of friends, everybody listed here, was responsible for the remake, and we re we gutted the whole thing, everything, the bars, the, we ripped the carpet out, everything, the curtains, the pillows, the bunk area, everything, the skirts where we can hide our, you know, we're able to throw our luggage and stuff underneath here and, and hide it with, and you know, we don't have a lot of the amenities that a bus would have. You know, we have a refrigerator or anything, so we were able to find coolers that fit underneath and slide underneath and stay out of our way. Everything was hand done. You had people come in to redo the flooring. You had people come in to hand make everything as far as the material wise goes and just did a magnificent job painting. I think there's six or seven people in here, well, I was included, trying to get this carpet to stick to the ceiling. Adam and I, the guitar player and myself, put in these air conditioner units, one up front and one in the back. Um, about the only way you can survive being down south in the summer touring. But uh, actually, he did it. I kind of just stood here with a box catching all the fiberglass. It works, you know, we got little little doodads around. We got the, uh, the Texaco, which is my kind of my good luck thing. It's kind of an homage to my dad. The people that did the, the upholstery and did so much of this stuff, they threw together these little things that kind of represent each one of us. Tim and his infatuation with Star Wars, Adam with his motorcycle, and myself with the uh, 37. Another homage to my, my dad. It's bacon time because I'm a big fat kid and I love my bacon. That's the front lounge, you know, nothing glorious, but it definitely is a lot better than sitting in the old 15 passenger van like back in the, the beginning days. Over here, it's, there's one like, when you come right in the door and there's some right here. A lot of times we use this space and then the space on the junk cabinet that I pointed out to you to uh, the tea and we'll put up stuff like right here. We have the, the shows that we have coming up so we can stumble out of our bunks in the morning and find out where we are. We got a radio show coming up, an acoustic radio show so that's the information on that and that is the TM's best friend because every time you walked up to him and asked him stupid questions he'd always go you know go look at the list dog. I posted it already idiot so that's where we're supposed to go but a lot of times it's just fun or that you know aggravate the tour manager got the TV up here for our, for our uh, watching inter you know for, our, for to keep us sane from time to time I, I love what they did here with this stuff because you know it looks nice and then you can just block everybody out it was funny because we redid this thing at a, uh, a friend of ours and basically lives in this great big fancy mansion, just beautiful house on this beautiful land and everything. And people were coming over to help us with this. And like, for instance, the people that did the, the window tinting, it's a female that lives there and they kept calling her Mrs. McCombs thinking that she was my wife. I was thinking to myself, if I could afford this place, her property, would I need free window tint? Doesn't make sense really. But no, it's such great people that help us put this thing together. The sleeping quarters back here, and again, all you know, everything curtain-wise was, was handmade by by some beautiful people. And we each have our little coffin, our little sarcophagus that we we survive in at night, hoping that we stay on the road and we don't hear very many rumble strips as we're going down the highway. It gets us from one place to the other. You know, I wish I wish I would have had something like this 15 years ago. With a tour bus, you spend so much money on it. Sometimes you feel like you should just drill a hole in the floor, and every time you walk by, just take whatever money you have in your pocket and, and throw in the hole. Whereas this thing is definitely. It's comfortable. It's much more affordable than what I've, what I've uh, experienced in the past. But that's our home on wheels. This is the Soil Deathmobile. It was the typical, like outside, it was the typical white with the blue stripes, or anything like any shuttle, like a lot of the shuttle buses. But we, they, they brought it, they kidnapped it, we, they spray painted flat black, gave it that Deathmobile, uh, the old John Belushi movie, Animal House, the old Deathmobile that pops out of the uh, parade at the end. But yeah, this is, this is Soil's version. This is our home much of the year. But uh, thanks for coming on board and checking it out.